ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் டெய்லி டோஸ் பை கீது யோர் வாட்சிங் கரியர் டோஸ் எபிசோட் ஒன் இன் டுடேஸ் எபிசோட் வி கோன டாக் அபவுட் ஃபார்மா ஜாப்ஸ் இன் அயர்லாண்ட் வாட் ஆர் த இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் இன் அயர்லாண்ட் அண்ட் ஹவு த இண்டஸ்ட்ரி லுக் லைக் அண்ட் வாட் ஆர் த ரோல்ஸ் தேர் அண்ட் ஹவு யூ கேன் கெட் ஸ்டார்ட் டோன்ட் ஃபர் கெட் டு லைக் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அண்ட் ஹிட் த பெல் பட்டன் So you never miss a dose of career insight. For today's episode, we have with us Mr. Anil Kumar Gadibudi. He has 10 years of experience in pharmaceutical industry. He is going to share his journey, challenges he faced and useful advices for those who is looking to build a career in pharma industry. Let's get started. Could you please introduce yourself, your educational background and your current role in Ireland. First of all, thank you so much for sharing this valuable information to your audience, Kritika. So myself, Anil Kumar, I studied Bachelor of Pharmacy in India and Masters in Medical Biotechnology. Uh, currently, I am working as a Quality Control Team Lead in one of the leading pharmaceutical industries. What motivates you to come to Ireland for your career? Uh, well, uh, being a pharma professional, when I had a quest to find global opportunities, I found Ireland is a heart of pharma, biopharma and medical device industries. And also, presence of world leading pharmaceutical companies, cutting edge research, and also immense career opportunities which have truly inspired me to build my career in Ireland. What kind of degree or qualification usually required for Indian graduates to work in Ireland? Uh, well, generally, uh, bachelor degree in pharma, microbiology and biotechnology and also masters with the pharmacy and also the pharma and the integrate, six years integrated course which are quite enough uh, well-recognized courses here to get a job in Ireland. Uh, but generally uh, people with uh, expert experience uh, they are that's a bit easy to find an opportunity in ireland well it requires a sponsorship from the company itself uh, but rarely it happens but a fresher graduates it seldom it happens since uh, companies will definitely need an expertized personality unless until it is a uh, skilled personality they don't give a sponsorship whereas you have another opportunity that uh, whether it is a masters or a pharma degree Uh, whether you have an experience or not, uh, whether you have a master's or bachelor degree, if you come to Ireland and make your master degree and get connected with all the pharma companies, and since you have two years of stay back period, so you can avail opportunities in different departments of the pharma like regulator fires, quality roles, and uh, manufacturing roles, and also in clinical roles. Uh, that will definitely open the doors for the students to get an opportunity. Please tell us about your pharma journey. Well, Kritika, since uh, my childhood, I have a huge fascination to study and settle in abroad. So uh, I studied my Bachelor of Pharmacy in Guntur and I held an opportunity to work in uh, Divi's laboratories as a quality control analyst. Meanwhile, I applied for my F1 visa. Uh, unfortunately, I got rejected thrice. However, I have continued my professional journey. So, um, Uh, I got an opportunity to work as a research scientist in Apotex Research Private Limited in Bangalore. Uh, and then uh, after two years, uh, I got an opportunity in Biocon as a senior executive in Metro Valuations Department. Um, however, my passion drive me to apply for Masters. Uh, so I applied for Italy to pursue my Masters in Medical Biotechnology. Um, since I have a huge work experience as I was skilled and expertise in quality control, Uh, uh, I got an opportunity in one of the leading CRO company in Malta. Um, well, uh, during this time, I heard about the Brexit. Um, I heard that due to uh, taxation and other issues, uh, there are a lot of top leading uh, biopharma and medical device industries are coming to Ireland and there are a lot of existing companies uh, which are extending their plans. Uh, so I heard there is a lot of recruitment. Uh, So uh, I made contacts and I built my network in Ireland um, and also due to the free immigration rules uh, and also the settlement policies, uh, it, it was truly inspired for me to apply for an uh, Ireland. So after persistent efforts, uh, I was very fortunate that uh, I got an opportunity in Ireland. So I was sponsored by one of the top leading CRO in Ireland. There I worked as a scientist. After one year, uh, again, uh, I got an opportunity as a quality control team lead. What are some of the most common pharma job roles in Ireland? Oh, well, Kritika, when it comes to discovery, uh, there is an R&D scientist, biopharma scientist, formulation scientist, 
uh, with regards to regulatory regulatory scientist or regulatory specialist and um, regulatory associate uh, and also portfolio management uh, and formal um, project management uh, when it comes to quality roles uh, quality control specialist uh, analyst uh, and um, quality assurance associate to quality assurance specialist uh, when it comes to manufacturing and bioprocessing bioprocessing scientist uh, bioprocessing engineers so uh, validation engineers and um, supply chain management specialist uh, 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 if it comes to a software uh, there will be a data scientist roles so biostatistician roles and also there will be a lean specialist roles um, and well there are different roles uh, based on different sections and different departments uh, and also there are some specific uh, job roles for pharmacy like a medical science lesion specialist uh, and the clinical research associates uh, and also sas uh, specialist and uh, yeah well there are different roles associated with the different departments in pharma and biopharma itself okay yeah so how can we apply for pharma jobs in ireland well applying for jobs in ireland is quite structured because here all the companies are globally uh, highly regulated companies here so first piece that you have to research on the sector where uh, where actually you want to apply for and then you have to tailor your cv according to the job role and description itself so most probably linkedin is the highest uh, platform where you can find your job and also irishjobs.ie and uh, you have to uh, make your profile in the company career website itself and then you have to adjust your cv according to the job role and the job description itself okay is it yeah. same for the freshers or well for the freshers uh, you, if you are really a actual fresher if you do not have any experience you do not have any idea that what to do mm -hmm. uh, the basic thing is that uh, you can go to a company's website in the career option there will be a, an option for a uh, apprenticeship and um, internship programs uh, so you can apply for the internship programs and uh, you can have a research internship or uh, any intern any kind of internship program there and uh, there you can learn a lot of things and that is how you can make yourself grow in the same company or else you can find an opportunity during the internship itself okay yeah. is it like the student who is already doing masters here they can do the internship or someone from india they can do the internship well uh, it is not at all possible for the students who are in india or who okay. are doing masters or bachelor degree in india only for the students uh, who did their masters in ireland it is quite possible because their masters actually integrated with the internship program and the apprenticeship program so uh, if you come to ireland it is quite easy to apply for an internship though you are a fresher you can have a lot of opportunities since we have a um, vast number of uh, opportunities and vast number of companies here okay yeah could you explain how a pharma graduate can secure jobs in ireland oh uh, well if you wanted to work in ireland you will definitely need a sponsorship but uh, uh, if you are a fresher companies will not give you a sponsorship because companies have to spend a lot of money on your sponsorship as well as on your training so obviously companies prefer a skilled and expertised personalities where if you have a potential candidate with a wonderful experience and if you are applying from india then it is easy to get a job mm -hmm. but only for the specific roles like a quality control and uh, research and development these kind of roles uh, it's easy to get a uh, job in ireland whereas if you are a fresher uh, it is easy to come to ireland by applying masters and uh, where you have two years of stay back period uh, uh, complete your masters and uh, apply for an internship uh, and then it's easy to get a job okay yeah, yeah. so you are suggesting like for the freshers if they come as a student it will be the best option yes okay yeah so unless until you have a potent uh, you, you are a skilled and expertised person it is not easy to get a job directly from india itself okay yeah so is it only for india or if they are staying in any other countries like dubai or somewhere any they can other, any other third national country prefers uh, requires a sponsorship okay so companies uh, uh, definitely will think on it so unless until you have an experience they will not give you a sponsorship so it's better to come as a student uh, and uh, you will have a 3 years of visa 
So once you finish your master's, you can tile your CV, which match your profile and job roles, and you can apply, and it's easy for you to get a job. Okay. Yeah. A lot of my friends around the eight to ten years of experience uh, have been trying, even still trying itself. Uh, but a few of them they come Ireland as a student uh, and they completed their master degree, and now they got uh, um, job in uh, top MNCs. Uh, now they are getting like a very decent package, like uh, six to seven times of their actual package from India itself. Their whole family came and they got settled here. Wow, that's great to know. Okay, let's move on to the next question. How is the work culture in Ireland compared to India? Yeah, Kritika. Uh, generally, work culture is very collaborative because uh, since these are the global companies, uh, employees are uh, obviously from different parts of the world. So uh, there will be a cultural diversity, uh, and also there is an openness to communication as well. Um, but the companies are very strict and adherence to the EU guidelines. Uh, but um, they care about uh, employee safety, which is the topmost priority. Um, when it comes to work-life balance, uh, Ireland ranked the world top two. You know about that? Yeah. 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 And also, suppose if you work in India, uh, where you was given eight years, of, uh, eight hours of work, uh, uh, due to some problems or troubles that you faced technically or something else uh, in the work, uh, if you stay for two more hours or three more hours. Uh, uh, I don't know whether you will be rewarded or not. Uh, whereas in Ireland, definitely you will be rewarded over time, which is uh, 1.5 to 2 times of your actual basic salary itself. Okay, so, is it yeah. like the double double pay? Yeah, if it's you work? almost like a double pay. But if you work in a shift, it is like uh, around 20 to 25 percent extra uh, during the shift times. Like if you work on night shifts, generally they don't prefer to work on night shifts. But if you work night times, you will get you are going to get a huge money. Like it it could be like 30 to 40 percent. Okay, so yeah. it purely depends on the ships yeah. and the overtime. Yeah. Okay. yeah. okay, we'll move on to the next question. Okay. What is the average salary range for the farmer roles in Ireland for freshers and experienced professionals? Uh, well, the salary varies from the company to company. Uh, generally, suppose if you take a quality role, sir, mm -hmm. for the freshers, sir, it could be like from 30 to 35k. Uh, well, this is the basic pay. But if you go to a shift again, you will be added like 20 to 30 percent of the shift allowances. So from the, this is the medium basic salary in Ireland. Uh, if you go to the top MNCs and the, for the same role, it could vary from 40 to 45 thousand for the fresh air. Uh, consider if it is a specific roles like a biostatistician, these kind of roles, it could be like um, 40 to 50 k. Uh, and uh, if you go to MSL. Where the basic salary is 50 to 70k, and uh, so consider if you are a registered farm sister, it could be like an hourly basis from 25 to 50k, as you know very well. Yeah, so it all depends on the role and uh, you know, uh, the company from the medium size to the top companies, it varies, uh, and also based on the shifts, shift allowances, and based on the distance that you travel. So, there are different factors which comes uh, when it comes to your salary. Okay, that's good to know. So, what are the difference between the contract role and the permanent role? Uh, well, um, uh, when compared to permanent role, uh, there will be a high salaries to the contract roles. Uh, but uh, whereas uh, there will be more benefits to the permanent role. Mm. But uh, if you come uh, to Ireland as a fresher or an experienced, it doesn't matter. But if you need a stamp for, I mean, a PR, you have to work for twenty-one months in a critical skill visa so for that uh, you need a 24 month contract which must be a permanent role so unless until you finish your critical skill you will not acquire a stamp for so unless uh, you have a stamp for the people will not take under a contract roles so um, i'll tell you an example one of my friend uh, who is working as a quality control analyst uh, and he was getting around 45k and he's working in critical skill and he's working in a permanent role uh, for the same role, my the other friend who was uh, uh, with the same experience almost, uh, um, uh, so he is working on, uh, under a contract role and he is getting around 65k. But compared to contract role, there will be more benefits in permanent role. Like uh, they do give uh, family insurance and you will be having a more holidays. Okay. So there will be different benefits uh, from the contract role. Okay. So. Yeah. 
uh, is it like the permanent employee will get the paid holidays uh, and the contract role people won't get the holidays or something like uh, that there will be a limited number of holidays for the contract roles whereas okay. for the permanent roles there will be more number of holidays okay. and more number of sick holidays as well but but uh, it is not applicable for all the contract employees so mm. this will be an added advantage for the person who is working in a permanent role okay so it's yeah. like the paid paid holiday for them yes okay all yeah. good and the final question what advice would you give to indian student who are planning to come to ireland for the masters in pharmacy related fields uh, okay fine uh, well uh, student has to choose the course and college wisely uh, mm -hmm. not just look for the titles there are a lot variety of courses like uh, regulatory affairs medical device technology um, and biomedical sciences uh, and also uh, the another suggestion is that uh, i suggest students to take uh, college or university from the city itself because it's easy for them to avail a part time opportunity if you plan to come to ireland try to do an internship or a bridge course that will definitely help you to secure a job in future firstly thank you so much for today with us and you shared a lot of information related to pharma jobs today hope this will helpful for the student and also for the upcoming experienced persons well thank you for having me if at all uh, you have any doubts for choosing the course place or a college uh, don't hesitate to contact me thanks a lot for tuning into today's career episode i'll be back soon with more inspiring career talks and successful stories if you got questions doubt or even topic you love to hear about just drop a message on instagram daily dose by kitu i would love to connect with you there until then keep learning keep growing see you in next episode bye